Dandruff is the shedding of dead cells from the scalp. These dead skin cells appear as small white flakes. We will discuss the five most common causes of dandruff. The most common cause of dandruff is dry skin, responsible for around 50% of cases. It occurs when the oil glands do not produce enough oil, causing the skin to become dry and leading to the shedding of skin cells as white flakes from the scalp. Treatment for this condition includes medicated shampoos containing ketoconazole, selenium sulfide, or zinc perithion. Coal tar can also be highly effective. Ketoconazole is an antifungal medication that fights fungal infections commonly associated with dry skin. Selenium sulfide helps remove dead skin cells and also has antifungal properties. Zinc perithione also has antifungal action and slows down skin cell production. Coal tar has anti-inflammatory and antifungal properties and slows down skin cell production, making it useful in more severe cases. These shampoos are usually recommended for use two to four times per week, with coal tar requiring more caution according to skin sensitivity. The second most common cause of dandruff is a fungal infection called Malassezia yeast overgrowth. This fungus is naturally present on the scalp, but its overgrowth causes irritation and increased cell turnover. It is estimated that Malassezia is involved in more than 50% of dandruff cases, meaning it has an overlap with dry skin, and in many cases, they are present together. If standard treatments are ineffective, stronger antifungal shampoos such as cyclopyrox or fluconazole may be used. As a home remedy, diluting apple cider vinegar in water can improve the condition by changing the skin's pH and reducing fungal growth. Adding tea tree oil to shampoo or a carrier oil like coconut oil also has antifungal properties. Adding 10 to 15 drops of tea tree oil to shampoo during a head wash is usually sufficient. Alternatively, dilute tea tree oil in a spoon of carrier oil, such as coconut or almond oil, and apply it to the scalp, leaving it for one hour before washing with shampoo. However, it is important to avoid tea tree oil if you are allergic to it, as it is a potent antimicrobial and can irritate the skin if used excessively. Seborrheic dermatitis is the third most common cause of dandruff and represents a more severe form of the condition. The scalp is covered with flaky, white or yellow scales. Seborrheic dermatitis can also affect other areas rich in oil glands, such as the eyebrows, sides of the nose, and backs of the ears. The exact cause of seborrheic dermatitis is unknown, but it is believed to be a combination of a fungal infection by malassezia and increased androgen production stimulating the oil glands. Treatment is similar to that mentioned above, but sometimes the addition of topical corticosteroids is necessary to calm irritation and inflammation. In these cases, low-potency corticosteroids, such as hydrocortisone 1% or desonide 0.05%, can be used for short-term use in moderate to severe cases. The fourth most common cause of dandruff is atopic dermatitis, also known as eczema, which presents as dry, itchy, and inflamed skin. Atopic dermatitis is more allergic in nature, meaning there are triggers from the environment and an overresponse from the body perceived as an allergic reaction, including inflammation, redness, and itchiness. The most common locations for atopic dermatitis are not the scalp, but the elbows, knees, hands, and feet. However, it can sometimes occur on the scalp and cause dandruff. Moisturizers and emollients are the first line of treatment for eczema. Moisturizers increase the water content in the skin, while emollients fill skin gaps with fatty substances. Hyaluronic acid and glycerine are considered effective moisturizers for eczema, and petroleum jelly is a cheap and effective emollient. They are usually applied to the skin two to three times a day. Additionally, topical corticosteroids are used to reduce inflammation and symptoms. Lastly, improper hair care can also cause dandruff. Using too little shampoo or using too much shampoo can both lead to dandruff. Proper shampooing for normal hair is around three times per week. 
If your hair is very oily, daily shampooing or every other day may be required. For dry or curly hair, less frequent shampooing, sometimes once a week or even less, is sufficient. 